Hello and welcome to Chicory's Maintenance Series. This week we're replacing the linear actuator. And what this does is the one that's in the boat lifts the bed. Now the bed is a latex bed, so it weighs 200 pounds. Plus I have, of course, this uh, platform plus vessels. And you would think a 2,000 pound linear actuator would be plenty of power. But actually when it's at such a low angle and it's just lifting it up right here, there's an incredible amount of pressure on it. And what we found that every two years, we start to hear the gears starting to click. Now this may last for a bunch of time more, but there's so much important stuff underneath here. If this broke, it would be very difficult for me to lift this bed without the linear actuator. So it's one of those things that's just critical. So we're gonna make sure that we replace it and that we don't have any issues. So let me explain a little bit what I'm doing here. I'm gonna set this one aside. So I told you the incredible weight of the bed. So what I've done is I've cut some two by twos and they're screwed into the bed base and um, the frame. And then I also have two mop handles that I have lifted up the base and kind of jammed them in there. And all of that should support the bed, no issues. So what I'm going to do is there's two mounting blocks that look like this, there's one on each end and they're held in with an Allen wrench uh, screw. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of these out and then I still have the linear actuator activated. I'm going to retract it a little bit, pull it out, put the new one in, wire it up, extend it until it just fits um, this distance, put the screws back in and I should be good. I'll give you updates along the way, but that's the plan. Okay, so I have the top bolt out. I have the bottom bolt out all the way, but it's binding just a little bit and I can't pull it out. And that might be just because there's a little bit of load here. So I'm gonna use our remote and this is how we lift the bed. Um, and I'm just going to hold the linear actuator and draw it in a little bit. And now that it's loose, I'm hoping that I can take the bolt out the rest of the way. gonna draw this in the rest of the way. And then I have it wired to the controller for the remote. So I'm going to clip these wires, wire the new one in, and then I'll show you me putting it in position. Okay, so I have wired the new linear actuator and I put the bottom bolt in. So now that I can pivot this up. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's, it's all anchored. I'm gonna extend it now. I don't know if you can hear through the um, camera, but this is certainly quieter than the other one. Might be a little slower too, which is actually a good thing because that means if it's got a uh, higher gear ratio, it may actually last longer than the other one. hoping that was not the end of it. All right, now I'm just going to grab the other pin and figure out the right distance. I'm going to, um, it's just a teeny short, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pressure on this and I'm just gonna tap it up just a little bit. Oh, no, it's moving up the bed. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my ratchet.
whoops. And the reason I'm pulling that out is that is just a teeny bit undersized. So I'm going to use the actual Allen wrench to tighten it down. And now what I'm going to do is take out these braces because we're going to test these. I'm going to go up to see what the travel is. You can see I'm compressing the bed here, and that's good because I have engine room access here and I need it to go up this far, so that's good. And I'm going to come down. I'm really happy with the, you can hear it's so much quieter, it's no clicking. I'm very happy with this. So based on that, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to thank you again for liking, commenting, subscribing, and of course viewing. And next to, until next week, thanks.